Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about work done in isothermal reversible expansion. We know that energy is exchanged between system and surrounding in two ways, by the exchange of heat and by the work done. And work done also happens in two process, reversible and irreversible. But among them, in which process work done is maximum? We need to know that. So in this video, we are going to see the work done in isothermal reversible expansion as well as isothermal irreversible expansion. So let's start. We know that reversible process means any thermodynamic process which happens infinitesimally slowly such that the driving force is only infinitesimally greater than the opposing force. First of all, let me write that any thermodynamic process which happens which happens infinitesimally slowly such that such that the driving force the driving force is infinitesimally greater than greater than the opposing force opposing force is called reversible process reversible process if the thermodynamic process happens very slowly such that the driving force is infinitesimally that is slightly greater than the opposing force and this type of process happens in infinite step then those process are called reversible process but in nature whatever process happens they are all irreversible process okay so this is what the reversible process actually is now let's make a consideration suppose there is a cylinder and this is the piston this is weightless and frictionless piston okay and there is ideal gas in it we are considering ideal gas not a real gas whose pressure is p1 volume is v1 and temperature is t here this is isothermal expansion so t will not change that's why we are putting t over here the pressure of the ideal gas is p1 volume is v1 and temperature is t this is the initial condition or initial state initial condition or initial state and the external process in this condition is P E X T. This is the external pressure. Now, suppose the external pressure is decreased. Suppose the external pressure is decreased, then obviously this piston will move up. Right? This piston will move up. The external pressure is decreased by dp. This is a slight change in external pressure and we know that when pressure decreases then the volume of the substance increases, right? So the new condition here will be pressure will be P2, volume will be V2 and temperature will be T. Here volume has been decreased by, sorry, volume has been increased by dV, okay? Pressure decreases by dP, volume increases by dV. So this is the final state final state let me write this condition let us consider let us consider n mole of an ideal gas let us consider n mole of an ideal gas enclosed enclosed in a cylinder enclosed in a cylinder fitted with fitted with weightless weightless and frictionless piston frictionless piston weightless and frictionless piston let p1 v1 and t be the pressure 
वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम एंड टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर एट इनिशियल एट इनिशियल स्टेट एट इनिशियल स्टेट लेट पी ई एक्स टी बी द लेट पी ई एक्स टी बी द एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्नल प्रेसर देन वी नो दैट टू फॉर द पिस्टन टू बी एट द सेम स्टेट सेम पोजिशन द एक्सटर्नल प्रेसर मस्ट बी इक्वल टू द इंटरनल प्रेसर एंड वेन एक्सटर्नल प्रेसर डिक्रीज इज देन ओनली पिस्टन विल गो अप दिस इज अ सिंपल कंसेप्ट राइट फॉर द पिस्टन नॉट टू मूव द एक्सटर्नल प्रेसर एंड इंटरनल प्रेसर मस्ट बी सेम राइट लेट मी रेड दिस पोर्सन द वर्क डन द वर्क डन इन वन इन फाइनाइटेजिमल वन इन फाइनाइटेजिमल स्टेप इज गिवन बाय इज गिवन बाय द वर्क डन इज गिवन बाय द प्रेसर मल्टीप्लाई द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम राइट हेयर द एक्सटर्नल प्रेसर हैज बीन चेंज टू पी एक्सटर्नल प्रेसर माइनस डी पी इन टू डी वी दिस इज द चेंज इन सॉरी दिस इज द वर्क डन फॉर वन इन फाइनेटेजमल स्टेप दिस इज द वर्क डन इन वन इन फाइनेटेजमल स्टेप नाउ वी नो दैट दिस इज अ रिवर्सिबल कंडीशन सो द चेंज इन P external pressure and internal pressure is slightly different, right? So in place of P external pressure, we can write P. So it can be written as P minus dP into dV, as P external pressure is equal to P, where P is equal to pressure of pressure of ideal gas, pressure of ideal gas. so this is another condition now now we know that the pressure of ideal gas and change in pressure they have very small difference in them that means that means p minus dp is almost equal to p that means we can neglect dp so in place of this we can write d sorry we can write p p into dv so this is equation number 1 This is the work done in one infinitesimal step. That is pressure of ideal gas into the change in volume. Now, to get the work done in complete process, we have to integrate this equation. Integrating, integrating equation one in the limit in the limit v one to v two. That means the volume is changing from v one to v two. so we have to integrate it in the limit of v1 to v2 so it will be dw v1 to v2 p into dv right now we know that this, as we are talking about ideal gas one more equation will be satisfied for p that is let me write over here we know that pv is equal to nrt and this equation is satisfied for ideal gas right where p is pressure v is volume and means number of moles r means universal gas constant and t means absolute temperature now from here let's find the value of p how much will we get nrt by v so in place of p can we write nrt by v as this is ideal gas so we can write that so in place of p let's write that nrt by v into dv so we got this much let me erase this portion okay so w will be equal to w will be equal to n r t n r t integration v1 to v2 1 by v dv so we get this much n r t and we know that the integration of 1 by v is log v or ln v right natural log that is ln v so it will be from v1 to v2 n r t this will be ln v2 minus ln v1 and rt ln v2 by v1 this is the 
condition of log so this is the work done in the complete process complete reversible process similarly let me write wrev so that it will be clear for us to identify it this is equation number uh, two we are considering it to be equation number two now we know that we know for i for isothermal condition boyle's law boyle's law is p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 this is the boyle's law from here let's find the value of v2 by v1 let's take this v1 to that side it will be p1 by p2 equal to v2 by v1 right so in place of v2 by v1 we can write p1 by p2 as well we are trying to find out the equation in terms of pressure as well i hope you understood this portion you have already taken the screenshot so i am erasing this portion okay so from there let us consider it to be equation number three then equation number two becomes equation two becomes w reversible process will be equal to n r t l n p1 by p2 right this can be written as n r t l n p2 by p1 but there will be negative sign over here this is another equation for the work done right for normal log we just need to multiply this by 2.303 rt sorry nrt and change this ln to log okay p2 by p1 so this is one more equation this is for natural log this is for normal log so this is the formula for work done in reversible condition let me write this formula in one place and we will see work done in irreversible process as well. We know that any thermodynamic process that happens suddenly is called irreversible process. Let me write that. Any thermodynamic process that happens, that happens suddenly suddenly it's called irreversible process so all the thermodynamic process that happens in nature are irreversible in nature that means they happen suddenly this process do not take infinite step to be complete so this is the definition of irreversible process let's make a consideration again Suppose there is a cylinder and this is the weightless and frictionless piston that is fitted in the cylinder and there is ideal gas put into it whose pressure is P1, volume is V1 and temperature is T. This is the initial condition or initial state and there will be P external pressure obviously. Now if it expands irreversibly that means if it expands suddenly then the volume will increase right the piston will come up and the new pressure inside it will be p2 volume will be v2 and temperature will be t as this is isothermal process so temperature will not change right and here in this particular case this p external pressure will be equal to now p2 right this p external pressure will be equal to now p2 that is internal pressure then only the piston will not move right now in this particular case the work done the work done is given by the work done is given by that is for isothermal irreversible expansion dw will be equal to uh, from v1 to v2 integration dw will be equal to integration from v1 to v2 p external pressure to dv where this dv is equal to v2 minus v1 okay so it will be equal to p external pressure and if we integrate it obviously how much will we get v2 minus v1 and this will be equal to w and this is w i r r that is irreversible expansion and we know that 
P external pressure in this particular case in final state is how much? P2. So in place of heat, we can write P2, V2 minus V1. And uh, as we are considering ideal gas, then PV will be equal to NRT. V will be equal to NRT by P. That means for initial condition, P1, V1. For final condition, P2, V2, right? So it will be P2 into, in place of V2, we can write NRT by P2 minus NRT by P1. Let's multiply this whole value by P2. This will be WIRR and RT. We have taken NRT as common because that is similar in both the terms, right? So it will be P2 by P2 minus P2 by P1. And these two will be cancelled out. So it will finally be W irreversible process will be equal to NRT 1 minus P2 by P1. So this is the required formula for the work done in irreversible expansion. So in this video, we saw work done in reversible expansion as well as work done in irreversible expansion. Both the process are very important to know. But in nature, this process happens always. Work is done in irreversible way because it will not take infinite step for the completion of a process, right? So it will be sudden. So this is for nature, but if you compare these, then work done in reversible expansion is greater than the work done in irreversible expansion. That's all in this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.